Hello friends, welcome to Velaxi Technologies. In this video, we are going to see how can we integrate Artifactory with Jenkins. I have updated this procedure in my GitHub repository. Let's go and check it out. So this is my GitHub repository, Rowdy slash DevOps. In this, we have a directory called Artifactory. Here we have integrate Artifactory with Jenkins. If you haven't set up your Artifactory server yet, please go and watch our previous video, which is blinking right side corner at this moment. Okay, so prerequisites to integrate Artifactory with Jenkins is we need an Artifactory server and also we need a Jenkins server. Okay, I have given reference links over here. You just go through with this. Once that is done, we just need to install Artifactory plugin. Then we need to configure Artifactory plugin, nothing but Artifactory server. What is the Artifactory server URL and also Artifactory username and password. Okay. Once that is done, we can build that one by using Freestyle project or by using Maven project. So in my case, I'm going to create a Maven project and will build and store Artifactories over there. Okay, let's go and set up. I have already set up my Artifactory server. This is my Artifactory server. So this is my Jenkins server. Let's go and connect to Jenkins server. Take public IP. And it runs on port number 8080. Alright, so I have logged into Jenkins server sometime back. That's the reason it automatically logs in. So first thing is we need to install Artifactory plugin. So go to manage Jenkins. And manage plugins. Here, go to available tab. Here, search for Artifactory. Okay. Okay, so I have searched for Artifactory and you can see a plugin called Artifactory. Select it and install without restart. We don't want to restart our Jenkins system. Okay, our plugins are installed successfully. Let's go back and manage Jenkins again. Configure system. Here we need to provide our Artifactory server details as well as credentials. And here we have a lot of options, but we are checking for Artifactory. Yes, you can see here Artifactory and we can add Artifactory servers over here. Add Artifactory server. So here we can give the server ID. I am giving Artifactory as a Artifactory server as our server ID and URL of our Artifactory. So this is our Artifactory server and URL is this one. We need to give the public IP address or public DNS colon 8081 slash Artifactory. And once this is done, we need to provide the credentials to connect to this Artifactory server. So we have a default user called admin, but it is not best practice to use admin user. So let's go and create a new user. So go to this is administrative console. And here users under security you have users option and these three are default users will create new one you can see here option username I am giving Jenkins as username and email ID I am giving Jenkins Jenkins at gmail.com because it is a star and then we should create a admin privileges user why because in case if we don't give admin privileges, he cannot able to store artifacts in the Artifactory. Okay. Then set up password. I am giving admin at 123. Same thing admin at 123. That's it. Save. So now we have created a user called Jenkins successfully. We'll use this user over here. Jenkins. Then admin at 123. And we just to test the connection whether it is successfully connected to our system or not. Yes, it is connected to our Artifactory server and it is 6.9.6. .6. Even you can check the version by going to the home. And you can see here Artifactory version 6.9.6. .6 and uh, latest version is 7.5.7. .7. If you need, you can install this. That's it. Now we'll create a Jenkins job. Before that, apply save. Now I am going to create a Maven job for that new item and I am giving so I am giving Artifactory test job and Maven project OK. Right here we are going to specify the git URL 
so git and url i have already updated in the our documentation itself you can choose this url or else you can give your own maven project there is no issue so vyankils slash hello world this is also my other account so here we have maven project let's take this project url and specify in the git and it is a public repository so no credentials are needed and go down and build we are going to give maven goals like clean clean install okay once it is built successfully then we need to send it to the artifactory server so this is part of post build actions here if you go and check there is a option called deploy artifacts to artifactory okay choose this option and you can see here artifactory server by default it propagated whatever we have set up and a target release repository if you are doing any releases you need to store in this repository but it is not propagating similar way if we have any snapshots it will get stored in the repository what do you give okay but to get this repositories just we need to refresh it and if you don't know what is the difference between releases and snapshots please let me know i'm going to prepare a separate video on that one so lib release local and this is release and this is snapshot so we should choose only lib snapshot all right that's it apply and save and uh, now let's build it before building it we'll go and check it out i'm just going to check our repositories whether any data is there or not click over here now you can see here lib release i think it could be empty nothing is there even lib snapshot it is empty and this also empty nothing is there okay this is definitions of our snapshot repository and similar way nothing is there if something is there inside you will get this kind of symbol let's go and build our jenkins job build now and you can check your artifactories by going here as well that is another option so let's go open our build all right our build is successful and if you go up you can see here it is deploying artifacts onto this system okay and under this system it is a snapshot so it is going to maven project not this one so it is going yeah here you can check lips snapshot local why because it is a snapshot how does it know it is a snapshot if you go to your palm.xml there we ha we will update that whether it is a snapshot or release you can see here it is a maven project and version is snapshot okay if it finds this keyword then it is treat it as a snapshot anyway so build is successful it stored artifactories in artifactory and let's go back you can check your artifactories by clicking over here okay it will give the build information and what it has done you can see here build id build id one because this is the first one and it store three modules okay similar way you can check directly from here as well so let's refresh it and you can see here now it got updated and some information is there inside sorry these two are remote repositories yep local so if i see here you can see here snapshot and here we have a web app here we have snapshot 1.0 and under this we have a var file okay which is generated and uh, with the timestamp if i again build this job one more uh, var file get creates with the another timestamp let's do that one so that is the purpose of artifactory right it should maintain the versions so we are doing second build okay this is also successful and let's go and refresh it charts and go here and web app snapshot one and you can see here now two versions of uh, web app file is there yeah this is initial one and this is later one because 312 this is 314 right and even if you go here okay artifactory test job your job information so two builds are done so far and in second build also it built three modules okay so this is how you can integrate your artifactory with jenkins okay that's all for this video hope it helps you to configure your artifactory server thanks for watching see you in the next video